What's up, family and friends? It's your boy, the motivational teacher to the masses, bringing you these hits, high-intensity trainings, and today shall be no different. But before I do, please like, comment, subscribe, click that bell twice to my YouTube channel. It can be the bridge to get you from where you are today to where you want to be for tomorrow. For a brief moment, I am about to break bread. For a brief moment, I want to focus on live out of our imagination. Live out of our imagination. There are too many of us living out of our past and living out our history and when, when we get around friends and family we always talk about what we did in the past do you remember when do you remember why and we're talking about past victories when we scored the game winning touchdown in high school or or we had the good job right out of college and we're always talking about what's behind us instead of focusing on what's before us we got to start living out of our imagination I remember when my cousin Ebony and I, we were young, we used to uh, stay the days during, over our Aunt Sue house while our parents went to work. And we would sit out on the porch with Granddad. And Eb and I would sit in these orange sliding swings and we would sit there and watch the cars on Sanford Avenue as they went by. Sanford Avenue was a pretty busy intersection back in Opelika, Alabama. And we would sit there and watch those cars. And Eb and I, we developed this game that we call Ooh Ooh Ooh. That's my car. I'm about to break bread. And we would sit there and as nice cars drive by, she and I, whoever saw the car first, would say, ooh, 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 that's my car. And I tell that story because some of us need to return back like child, that childlike faith and go back to those childlike games and start living out our imagination and start believing that when I walk in a business and I, I know God has put that on the inside of me and I got to mature it from the inside to the outside, I need to start back playing, ooh, ooh, ooh that's my car. You got to start back playing, ooh, ooh, that's my house. You got to start back playing, ooh, ooh, that's my marriage. You see, too many of us are living out of what we did years ago, and we're not working on what we're going to do years from now. I just broke bread. It's about taking the moment now to maximize the opportunity to put you farther down the road in the future. We got to get back to living out of our imagination. Man, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what's laid up to for you. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly of all we can ask, think, or imagine. Have you tapped into that power yet? Oh, I'm about to break bread. Have you tapped into the, 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 the magic of your imagination? Or are you right here just dwelling on, on what I can have for this moment and what I had instead of focusing on what, what I can do in the future? The, to, to the victor goes to sports. To whatever I, lean, I, I lend my members to, give me my greater results. Am I thinking about my stinking thinking and what and what went wrong and what I've always missed? I missed the mark and it's so tough and it's so hard. Or are you starting to lend your members to what I think, man? Yeah, I see five years from now. I will have the masses in front of me. Yeah, I see myself speaking down at the Mercedes Dome in Atlanta. Yeah, I see myself having my own national television show. Yeah, I, I speak I speak out of, out of my imagination. I'm not talking about what reality is right now. Reality is right now, I may only get 200 hits on this YouTube video. Reality is right now, if I don't send it out on my cell phone, I won't get many hits. But the truth is that I am the motivational speaker to the masses. Why? Because I live out my what? Imagination. Yep. Three ways to live out, out, to live out your imagination. Number one, you got to believe. You have to believe that there's something special on the inside of you. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. There's no way that we can get to that level of life where we claim we want to get and we have no level of belief. Our belief system is, is built and rooted in what I see in the rearview mirror and not, and not rooted and built in what I know God has already said that, that's on the inside of me. We got to change our belief system. It takes as much faith to have fear as it does to believe that it's something awesome in your imagination that you need to come to fruition. It's time to play hide and go seek. It's time for you to, to tuck these things on the inside and when you see them, you go seek those things. Why well, just broke bread? Number one, you have to believe. Number two, adjust your attitude. Adjust your attitude. Life 
It's 10% what happens to us and 90% how we respond to that 10%. We have to adjust our attitude to know that there's more outside that, that meets the eye. We got to adjust our attitude to know that there's more on the inside of me than what these natural eyes can see. I got to adjust my attitude to know that my future is so bright I need some doggone Ray-Bans to get to it. We got to adjust our attitude that we're moving in the direction where we should be going and not moving in the direction where we've been. Every time I take a look back to where I've been, I'm, I'm giving time up on where I'm going. We all, God has created, created us for something special. You got greatness on the inside of you. Don't die with that potential lockdown on the inside of you because our attitude is that of one of lack. Our attitude is that of one that's not whole and sound. Our attitude is one that, that we like to keep up mess and we like to, to talk about what was and what's been and not talking about what is to come. I spend my time on what is to come. You gotta understand that you gotta spend time uh, enlightening your mind, speaking words that edify and encourage you. You got to change your attitude. In order to change your attitude, you got to change the way you speak. You got to change the way you understand. And you got to change the way you think. Other than that, you will die average. Change your life by changing what you speak, what you understand, and what you think. Number three. Yeah, we're talking about three ways to, to, to uh, live out of your imagination. Number three is you have to learn to serve others. You have to learn to serve others. That's something you've been gifted with. And, 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 and if you're going to live out your imagination, you got to understand that that's something that God has had to put in your hand to serve humanity. Guess what? Nobody pays top dollar. Nobody gives into a service that, that does not benefit somebody. I am about to break bread. You can no longer live on your island and believe that greatness is just going to chase you down. But you have to understand that you have to serve your gift to others. If you're going to live out your imagination, it better be a big plan that service a lot of people. And most of us, we spend our mental energy focusing on the big house and the big bank accounts. But if we focus our mental energy on serving God's people, we can accomplish all those other things will be added unto us. We have to adjust our focus from things to service. Your boy just broke bread. How to live out of your imagination. Hey, like, subscribe, hit that bell twice. This channel can be the bridge from where you are today to where you want to be tomorrow. And until next time, I am challenging you to wage war on mediocrity. Your boy is out.